right, welcome to Storytime with Dudley and Miss Karen. Welcome to our first week of summer reading, and this week's theme is nature. So we're out in nature. Uh, Dudley is inside because he loves nature a little too much. And today's book is about the plant called poison ivy. I don't know if any of you have ever encountered poison ivy. We've had some in our house here in Oakmont around the hedges. So this is a really interesting book. I actually learned something from this book called Leaflets 3, Let It Be, The Story of Poison Ivy. And this answers some questions that you might have about poison ivy. Winter woods are dark, bare branches rattle in the icy wind. A thick brown vine creeps up a tree, shaggy rootlets help it cling to the bark. The vine curls through the branches like a furry snake, hairy vine, a warning sign. So if you see a hairy vine in the winter, that could be poison ivy. One cold day in early spring, buds on the vine pop open, Babies, baby leaves unfold, shiny and red as a traffic light, meaning stop. If you touch the leaves, they might make you itch. Meet poison ivy. Poison, poison ivy isn't poisonous like a rattlesnake or a black widow spider. A chemical in the sap might give you an itchy rash. A rabbit hops down the path. He's thin and hungry after a hard winter. Few leaves are growing, yet not much to eat. He nibbles tender leaflets of poison ivy. Snort, a hungry doe scares him away. Then she snacks on the leaves while squeak, white-footed mice gnaw on poison ivy stems until a fire truck passes. <laughs> Growl, a cranky bear woken from his long sleep wants a bite too. Tender red leaves are the first taste of spring, but poison ivy has more to give. In summer, the red leaves fade to green and they hide amongst the other plants. Look closely. Can you identify poison ivy? Like snowflakes, no two poison ivy leaves are exactly alike. Did you know that? Each leaf is divided into three leaflets. Some are jagged or toothed, some are smooth edged, and some are the size of a dime, others bigger than your hand. Look for the head, middle leaflet on a long neck or stem. Twin side leaflets have short stems, sometimes little mitten thumbs stick out. Don't shake hands, leaflets of three, let it be. And these are all different ways that you can see poison ivy. They have a different appearance, which makes it hard to identify. Sun and rain make poison ivy grow strong. Vines creep up the tree and leaves spread over the ground at ankle height. Watch where you step. The leaves shade the forest floor like a million green umbrellas in their cool, moist shadows. Salamanders wriggle and spiders spin webs. A golden-eyed toad watches for insect prey. Swooping low, a cardinal carries food to hungry babies. They're cradled safely under a tangle of vines in a nest lined with poison ivy rootlets. So they're safe in the poison ivy. Dainty flowers hang in clusters from the hairy vine. Bees hum and buzz among the blossoms, gathering poison ivy nectar to make into golden honey. Shade and sweetness in the hottest days of summer, but poison ivy has more to give. Fall days grow short and chilly. Tiny insects roll themselves up in snug poison ivy blankets, so it helps the insects as well. Aphids, beetles, and caterpillars crunch and munch on poison ivy leaves. Leaf miners tunnel through, eating as they go. Leaves grow scarlet, orange, purple, gold, a poison ivy rainbow. Did you realize it was that colorful? And hidden under bright leaves, tiny berries are slowly ripening. It's got flowers and berries. Poison ivy still has more to give. Winter comes, withered leaves fall to the ground, empty branches rattle in a cold sky. The forest seems barren. But the hairy vine is loaded with plump white berries. Berries white take flight. You don't want to eat those berries. Hungry birds flock to a poison ivy feast. 
A red-bellied woodpecker hangs upside down from the vine, grabbing the white berries. A wild turkey gobbles them up too. Chickadees flit from branch to branch. Robins and bluebirds join in. The hairy vine is a living bird feeder, but not for humans. Poison ivy gives life in the starving heart of winter. So all of those birds are being fed by the poison ivy plant. The cold is almost done. As winter fades, poison ivy seedlings sprout. Hairy vines reach for the sun. Leaflets three shine red to welcome spring. Itching to know more? You can learn a lot more in this book. When you, you can check on to www.oakmontlibrary.org and hold this book and give us a call.